Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So, <laughs> I bought another Z Flip 5G. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had one before and Samsung ended up losing it, I think, when I sent it in for repair because there was a legitimate issue with the screen. I made other videos about that. If you followed my channel for any period of time, you probably were there for part of the story and the saga. And I've been Z Flipless for a while and I decided to go ahead here recently and buy the Motorola Razr. 5G, which I absolutely love, and that inspired me to get another Z Flip 5G. So I can take a look at it before the Z Flip 3 gets here. If you all followed my channel, you know that I love the foldable phones. I especially love the flip phones. The Z Flip has been like, the Z Flip 5G is my most favorite phone this last year, and I enjoy using it so much, I missed having it. And this one's going to get traded in more than likely when the Z Flip 3 comes out. But I wanted to be able to take a look at it again offer some coverage, give you guys some insight, because right now may actually be the best time to pick one up. And I say that because you can find them at larger discounts. I mean, I bought this one brand new sealed in the box on eBay for like 700 bucks. It was $14.49 a year ago when it came out. I paid full price for it. It hurt my heart and my wallet. It hurt a lot of things. So I want to talk about the Z Flip 5G for a minute in this video. And before we get into all that, I do want to say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, Thank you for being here. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Let's talk about the greatest flip phone of all time. Okay, so maybe that might be a stretch. I'm sure there are some flip phones out there that people think are the most greatest of all time, and I'm holding one of them right here. I have fallen in love with the Motorola Razr 5G. It's such a nice phone. It's sleek, it's sexy, it's got this screen on the outside of it. And I mean, of course, this is a nice phone too. It's no slouch. I do like the larger screen. I like the extra pep in the step with the Snapdragon 865 Plus. Really nice AMOLED display. And it's got 256 gigs of storage, eight gigs of RAM, everything you could ask for. There are some things I really hope they improve going into the Z Flip 3, most notably the cameras. I was taking some pictures even this evening. I'm like, those potatoes I'm taking pictures of look kind of potato quality. <laughs> it's just not great with sharpness, especially in low light. There are things they could do to make the cameras better. But this right here for a sophomore offering, Samsung did a really good job with the Z Flip 5G. I'm hoping that the rumors are true and the Z Flip 3 will come down in price. I'd really like to see this at about the $1,100 price point as opposed to like the $1,449 price point. That's really, really expensive. And we're in the third year. This is the third generation, effectively, of this foldable display that Samsung is making. They've got the Z Flip, the Z Flip 5G. Actually, the unpacked event is on August the 11th, which is... Today is the third, so what, we're eight days away? By the time you see this, we'll be a week away from the unpacked event. Really cool, and actually there's a link in the drop down. If you're looking at reserving one or pre-ordering one, you can hop over there and you can click the link, go reserve your pre-order, and you can save up to, you can get an extra $100 up to on your trade-in, and they're gonna give you a year of free insurance, which is a really good deal, and supposed to be a special gift. So check that out, but this right here, I love this phone, and why do I love it? Well, I like the flip phones and people are like, well, why would you pay all that extra money for a phone that can do this? Well, when you can do this with your phone, one, it makes it more pocketable. When you carry a lot of things in your pocket all the time, if you don't like having to have much pockets, you don't, like, it's just easy. It's small, it's slim, it's convenient. It also has flex mode, which only some apps take advantage of, which is still kind of annoying that it's not like a universal thing. But being able to have your video up top and other information down on the bottom without having your screen split. It really is kind of nice, especially when you're using YouTube. Also, other things you can do with it. You can use the front facing screen here as a viewfinder, which is, I mean, I gotta tell you, it's really not a selling point. I think it mostly sucks. So uh, I'm not gonna talk about that. Where they need to go and where they are supposed to be going from what I hear and see is more of a functional screen on the front. This is right here, this right here, Motorola really nailed this. Samsung really failed this. Like they, they went with the, hey, we're Samsung, we're making this so people will buy it approach and then we'll give them something they want later so they have to upgrade. At least that's what my internal monologue tells me. And sometimes it's right, especially whenever it comes to phone companies charging you more money for things later that you want now. So this phone, it's really nice. It's premium 
I really was not too crazy about the Mystic Bronze when it first came out. I love the gray ones. And I had Mystic Gray. I wish I could have got another one, but this one was too good of a deal to buy brand new in the box. It looks gorgeous. And my silver, sorry, my gray one, it had just the stainless steel aluminum whatever on the outside of it. This one, it does too, but it matches. So the whole thing matches. See, the, the gray one, it was only gray on the body of the phone. The sides and the back were, were the silver color looking one. And now... This one is completely color matched. It looks gorgeous. I don't even want to put a case on it. I'm going to get one. I'm going to order one. Hopefully I'm not making a video in the next few days saying, oh, I screwed up my phone because I didn't put a case on it yet. I'm kicking myself because I apparently got rid of my old one. Not thinking I was going to buy a new phone and here I am with another Z Flip 5G. But it's nice. It's convenient. It's really cool. One of the things that I like to do with this one is like when I'm laying down at night and you want to watch some videos, pop one earbud in and set it up. It's like having a portable TV next to your bed if you have a nightstand. I really like it. So does my wife because I don't have the TV on with the lights and the noise. And this makes my life and my marriage a lot better. So <laughs> it's a nice phone. There are things that they could improve. I'm really concerned about the new one. They're talking about it only having still the same battery life, but giving an enhanced refresh rate, talking probably about 120 hertz. I, I like that. I want that. I love the refresh rates that are higher in phones. It makes everything so much smoother and nicer whenever you're scrolling through your phone whenever you're playing video games it's a nice thing but it does eat up the battery so if we don't get a bigger battery i'm i'm concerned especially if we're going to get a snapdragon triple eight or pro or plus whatever they're calling it the triple eight has been terrible when it comes to battery life the 865 plus i think is better so that kind of segues into is there a place for this one still now i could happily use this phone for another year if i wanted to like if i didn't want to get the z flip 3 this phone right now it's still, it's so powerful. And if you look over, if you want to compare it, the Snapdragon 765G is in the Motorola Razr, and I feel like I could use it for another year. And this one's about a year old already. I bought that one used off of eBay, renewed or refurbished, whatever you want to call it. So spec-wise, this one's still a very good phone. It's very capable, very well built. The only reason I had to get rid of my first one was because there was something wrong underneath the screen. It was making this popping noise, and I don't know what the deal was. But I sent it in. They were supposed to fix it. Well, they said that there was nothing wrong with it, and then they sent it back. And then I sent it to them again, and they still said there was nothing wrong. And then they said they were mailing it back, and then it got lost for three weeks. And they said, we're sending you a replacement. And then they called me a week or so later and said, we don't have a replacement, so we're just sending you a check. <laughs> so that's what happened with my last one. But I have pretty good confidence in the whole repair process. I sent in my Z Fold 2. It clearly had a manufacturer's defect with a red line across the screen. They fixed it and sent it back in a couple of days. The... Premier service, the concierge that they have is nice. It, it's it's really a good program. I, I think that and I think that that's the assurance that people needed to go with these phones. But looking at this one now, if you're thinking about getting one, you can find these things renewed. Like the Amazon renewed one is pretty fairly priced as well, and you can get it's got a 90 day unconditional money back guarantee. You, something happens, you don't like it, you're not happy with it, it's got issues, send it back. No harm, no foul. Get another one if you want. So there are a lot of ways now that these are much more affordable. And I have some other friends who have since picked one up or even an original Z Flip and paid way less. I'm talking like maybe 500 bucks or traded another phone or did somehow managed to get one and they love the phone. It, I think it appeals more to an older audience. Like if you're in your 30s and 40s, I think it has more of a nostalgia and like this bring back these feelings and, and these memories from past, past flip phones because that's what we used to have. Back in the day, we used to have our Motorola Razors, we used to have our LGs, we used to have all these different phones that you had to open up to access the screen, and you close them when you were done. And that's something that I think some people still appreciate, maybe not on the larger scale, maybe we'll get back to there, but I really wanted to pick this one up because one, I missed it. Two, I want to make some more videos, I want to do a year later review, I want to cover it, I want to talk about the Z Flip 3, do a comparison, and I really wanted to compare it to this guy right here, because a lot of people are like, hey... I can only get one. Can I, should I be Team Razor or should I be Team Z Flip? And that video is going to be coming soon as well. But this right here, like I said, it's a beautiful phone. It's great. Yes, I did buy it. Brand new. Sealed the box. I'm going to trade it in more than likely because they have such good trade-in value. If you buy one now for like 600 bucks, historically, Samsung is going to give you about seven or 800 So I'm like, well, I'll buy this now. Kind of a no-brainer for me to get the new one because they're going to give me as much or more than I paid for it in trading credit. <laughs> so... Yeah, there are ways you can make the system work for you. Now, of course, that's not a guarantee. I don't know exactly what the trade-in values are. You'll be able to see those soon enough. 
And then you can make decisions like that for yourself if that's something that works for you and you know a way you can test out the phone or see if you even like it. But this right here, it's solid. I love it. It's enjoyable. And I do think it's a better phone overall than the Razer 5G from a technological standpoint. But when you look at a realistic standpoint, this right here really has helped out a lot. So there are a lot of pros and cons here. That video is going to be coming soon. Hopefully that's something you'll be looking forward to. But yeah, I've got one again and I'm happy. I don't regret it. <laughs> and uh, I'm really enjoying playing with it right now. I've got my primary SIM in it and I'll be using this probably until the Z Flip 3 gets here or until the cows come home. So we'll see what happens. Exciting things on the horizon. The new, the Samsung unpacked event for the Z Flip 3 and the Z Fold 3. August 11th, again, the link is down in the description if you want to hop on that so you can get the cool reserve pre-order goodness. That one year of insurance goes a long way. Like That's a really, really big thing to help out with your conscience because you're not paying like the $13 a month for it. You get that on top of the warranty you already get with the phone, and it gives you a lot of serious peace of mind. So I think it's a great way to help people out who are looking at getting one, and also it makes you feel a little bit better and a little bit more comfortable carrying around one of these cool phones in your pocket because they are more fragile. They don't have all the protections like the IP68. Maybe the new one will, who knows? But it's just a little extra kind of pep in your step when you're like, all right, I can carry this with confidence that I'm not going to mess it up. Anyway, so that's all I've got in this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I will get back with you. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.